Hello everybody, you're watching channel B B B for Beth Moth. This is the uh, episode two guys. Episode two of Beth Moth Chat Christmas. That's where we're getting at today because I realized you know what? I'm gonna make another one of these videos immediately after I said I'm gonna do this periodically weekly and all that. Look at how smooth that those transitions look and everything. This was, I'm recording this literally after I was talking about the UNO politics video. Um, that was, that was stupid. And I, re I realized, um, in those, uh, let's see, eight minutes <laughs> between recording times, I was like, you know what? These videos are basically me rambling about stuff. And I thought to myself, like, hey, why don't I just turn this into that's what it is now you know because it's like i had the topic of uno politics now i have what i'm decided i'm you know what christmas there's a lot about christmas i want i like to talk about and i'm very passionate about christmas so we're going to talk about that so i thought since i like to ramble a lot i'm going to just turn these in like because on my my gameplay videos and all that i'll ramble or other videos about updates and stuff i'll ramble about whatever i'm thinking about or i'm passionate about and then I'm like, oh crap, I wasted all my time talking about this. But now I realize, now that the subject is about this, I can ramble on about Christmas or whatever topic that I have for each one. So, we're going to talk about Christmas today, guys. Um, so, Christmas. Uh, it's kind of like, people nowadays are like, not saying Merry Christmas anymore. And I understand that like not everyone celebrates Christmas, but let's talk about this, all right? Christmas is not really what it used to be. And I mean this in the sense of, the reason people don't say Chris Merry Christmas anymore is because like, oh, I don't celebrate Christmas because I'm not I'm not Christian or Catholic or whatever it is. I don't even know anymore. I don't, I think I'm like, I'm like Christian or Catholic, something like that, I really don't know. There's like a slight difference between the two. And I swear, it's like the slight difference in like, you know, you see like two dogs that are like identical. It's like, oh, this one's actually has like a longer snoot. You know, his little his boop snoot is a little bit longer, and his tail is a little bit shorter. Like it's like slight differences like that, as far as I know. There could be bigger differences, and what I'm saying could be sounding a little controversial. I don't know, but um, I digress. Oh, so my brother sent me pictures of the hotel that they're staying at, and he loves it. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Looks like any other hotel. Uh, awesome. I swear, same thing as my last video. I was talking about how, like, Uno politics, all that crap, and then I'm just like, somehow, some way, when I record a video that I say that I'm, I promise will be unedited and will be totally straight, uh, just without any editing or nothing, like, my, even most of my live streams, especially, like, that's a better example. Every single time, someone interrupts me. Before, whenever I'd make videos, when I first started, my family would interrupt me. Now, they're not even in the house, and they're still managing to interrupt me. My mom, my dad, and my little brother, because I, I set up my little brother so he can message me on Discord. But, I, anyways, now somehow I managed to ramble about the wrong subject while I'm saying, hey, let's just make this about me rambling. Whatever, Christmas is not what it used to be, Pate. Alright? It's not what it used to be. Because, look, <clears throat> people used to say, like, People will say, like, oh, I don't celebrate Christmas because I'm not, uh, Catholic, whatever. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't know. But it's like, hey, you said, I've heard that same person say, oh my god, before, or OMG, or o OMFG. So, you shut up, because you are proving my point that I'm about to say right now, alright? So, hear me out. Look, most holidays are not really what they used to be in the sense of, uh, Christmas is supposed to be about... It's Jesus' birthday. Jesus is born. He's a baby child. That's and you have the, the what's it called? Um, I uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. But like, the whole little statues of baby Jesus and and Mary and all that stuff, and like, uh, that's what Christmas is about, you know. And somehow, I don't know how, people just made it like, now we've got Santa Claus and elves and Christmas and winter. And all this good stuff and presents and wh where did all this come from? <laughs> like over time, it, it's changed. And you know what's so weird about it? 
Did you know that Santa Claus is actually red? Because one time Coca-Cola depicted Santa Claus in a red suit because Coca-Cola is red. And now ever since then, Santa Claus has been depicted as been wearing red. So before then, he's been shown as wearing green and uh, purple and just other other mystical colors. If I can find right here, where was it? Uh, I bet you I can find it. It was like a little WTF facts thing. Like, let me see. WTF facts. Uh, Santa Coca 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 Cola. I bet it'll be like one of the first things that pops up, really. Oh, let's see. Okay, so. Ah! Crap, no. Oh, okay. Anyways. Um. Okay, so it's Uber facts. Or Santa. There's a lot of facts, things, whatever. The large Santa with a white beard and red clothing that were used to today was actually created by Coca Cola. Saint Nick was originally a very thin and pale guy. Oh, really? So that's that's another little fact we hear hear about. Okay, so he's actually depicted as a bigger, chubbier dude because of Coca Cola. So now we can thank Coca Cola for not only giving him the red clothing, but the big old jolly fat dude look. So knowing that now, um, I guess it kind of makes more sense that like you know you hear Santa Claus he jumps down a chimney and everyone, uh, he's like he jumps down everyone's chimney going from rooftop to rooftop it's like everyone's like how is a big fat dude like that jump through your roof and not get stuck and everything and everyone's just like well, i don't know you know so now we can all blame coca-cola for giving the wrong depiction of santa claus and making what he does seem irrational so cool thanks a lot coca-cola even though i've started liking coca-cola a lot more recently um so that's actually pretty cool i've always liked to believe in santa claus in the aspect of it's like, um, imagine, like, like Mario, right? You could, imagine you're just like, oh man, I love Mario, right? Not being like a, like a total man-child about it. you just like, you love Mario games, you love playing them, you, you have fun enjoying them and everything. You have, uh, like, a shirt with Mario on it that's not too garish or whatever. It still seems appropriate and all. And it's like, someone, some dude just walks up to you and is like, you know Mario's not real, right? And it's like, yeah, but I, I still like him. It's like... <laughs> People, it's just like, people are just like, oh, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. It's like, okay. But, like, it, the thing that, that gets me is that, um, it's just like with kids, they think, oh, Santa Claus isn't real. This is ruined for me now. Everything I knew was a lie. And then they just, they're just like, Santa Claus isn't real, and they just get ruined for them. But it's like, you know, I just like to believe in Santa Claus, all right? I just like to believe in it because I think it's a cool idea thinking like, oh, if I'm good, or whatever, you know, this will happen, so and so. And I kind of like, I have a bit of a theory almost. My theory is that, hear me out on this, look at this. So Santa Claus, let's say he, Santa Claus is quote unquote made up so kids behave, right? And then I heard like the joking argument, oh, you know, Jesus is made up so adults behave. So what my theory is, what if, okay? Because, like, Santa Claus keeps look good. Santa Claus is supposed to keep kids in check and make sure they stay good. Same thing with Jesus. He's supposed to keep people in check, you know, make sure they do good. What if Santa Claus and Jesus are, in fact, the same person, all right? Now, think about it. I said this one time ever, and my parents thought I was joking. And the more I thought about it, at first it was joking, but now I'm like, you know... It wouldn't be, it wouldn't seem too, too far off. Because, I mean, think about it. Christmas is Jesus' birthday, all right? Now, um, ah, I forgot the word, but, dang. Um, Jesus', Jesus birthday is Christmas Day, right? So, granted, I guess Jesus wouldn't want to be working on his birthday. But, I mean, you know, Jesus is supposed to be super powerful and can do pretty much anything he fucking wants, right? And... Think of it like this. You could say like, oh, there's poor people. Why didn't Santa Claus come to the poor people, whatever? Why didn't Jesus help out the poor people? Why didn't Jesus save my mother from cancer and now she's dead? Why didn't uh, Santa Claus come to visit me in my hospital bed or whatever? It's like, you know, think of it. There are people that are fortunate thinking like, oh, Jesus is really helping out these fortunate people. Santa Claus got these kids that are richer with a richer family Christmas presents 
these uh, it's too much of a coincidence all right this can't be a coincidence there are some times where I see those coincidences but more often than not I don't believe in coincidences I think there has to be a reason all right there's a reason for everything like I kind of just thought more of this right now like hey whoa this is applying my theory even more because originally my theory was you know they're both they both keep people in check they both have got a beard Jesus got a beard right or at least God, in a sense, God is depicted as with a beard. Uh, well, let me see. I haven't looked at Jesus recently. He's got a bit of a of a of a beard goatee. He he has facial hair, definitely. But you know, if you look up, if you look up God, he has, he's got a beard. I think I'm pretty sure God and Jesus are not the same person. And some some like the depictions of religion say they are. I'm not too too sure, but you know, uh, the most depictions of God will be showing him with a big beard. A big white beard, I, n nonetheless. Some pictures I see here are with a white beard, and he's also bald, but, you know, the top of his hair, if there is hair, is white. So most depictions of God saw him as, hear me out, a pale guy with a white beard and white hair, all right? What was Santa Claus depicted as a guy that was pale with a white beard that was genuinely thin. So does Jesus or God, what have you here. This can't be a coincidence. What if fucking Santa Claus is Jesus? Or at least in some form, safer form, like an angel or something, because he is, he is also called Saint Nick. Dude, you can't just, you can't just ignore this stuff, all right? Like now, this one, this like whole, my whole tangent went on a freaking. Santa Claus is a saint. He's an angel. That's how he travels so fast, guys. That's how he goes house to house. He has his reindeer and all for so. Uh, his reindeer and his sleigh and all that could have just been the media advertisements depicting him like that. Well, look, that's how he does it. He's a freaking angel or he's a saint, whatever. That's how he can just be like zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, just give everyone presents. That's how he does it, guys. That's my theory on Santa Claus. This was gonna be a more like argumentative thing, but um, I was just gonna bring it up as a joke, but then I'm like, holy shit. This is pretty eye-opening, guys, all right? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, this was gonna be like my whole idea of like, uh, like the Saint Nick Jolly Red Santa Claus you see in a suit and everything, um, talking about him and all. But there's my little bit of theory. I was gonna say originally, you see, like, people will say, like, uh, like, how can a big fat red dude in a, in a guy in a fat, how can a big fat dude in a red costume go around so fast? And it's like, yeah, if, let's just say in this aspect, disregarding my whole theory and prior knowledge to what you usually know is like, uh, yeah, that's probably not possible, all right? There's no way a big fat dude in a, a, a sleigh powered by reindeers that fly across the world somehow go to every single child under one that yeah it, it sounds fake you know and you know you don't have to like bring it to people's attention just be like you know he's not real and it's like fuck off all right don't be an asshole like i'm not gonna go to you as a kid and just be like hey you know spongebob's not real right and it's like yeah you know it's not possible, it's not, it doesn't seem accurate. Or you go like, hey, you know Muppets aren't real, right? They're not actual little things like. I, I kind of, I kind of could have just assumed that if I thought about it, but I didn't really think about it, you know? Like, if, that would just be your mindset as, as a kid. You'd be like, yeah, I mean, I guess obviously they, they weren't, it was, it, they were puppets, but like, shut up, <laughs> you know? I don't, like, you don't need to bring that to people's attention, I guess. Alexa, say something cool while I take a sip of my drink. Sorry, I don't know that one. Hmm. You were supposed to say something cool. I shouldn't have added in that last part. But, like I was saying, it doesn't need to be brought to attention. You don't need to be like, hey kid, Santa Claus isn't real. You know, why, like, of anything, we should just stop lying to kids, okay, uh, all right? If you don't want them to go through the heartbreak of someone just being like, Santa Claus isn't real, and then the kid stays up all night, and it's just like, oh, he didn't come in, you know, like, we need to stop this whole trend, okay, because 
of anything, we should have Santa Claus more as an ideology, or at least an icon of Christmas rather than he's definitely coming into your house, and if he's not, then he's, he's lie, he's fake, and everything you know is lie. You're never gonna believe anything from your parents again, because you know, that's how you set up your kid to be one of those assholes, because then they'll grow up and be like, you know, Santa Claus isn't real, then that kid grows up, and then he becomes the same asshole, all right? It's a, it's a, it's a trend. We've seen the same thing happen with domestic abuse. <laughs> kind of a, a drastic or a dramatic example, but you know, still, it's, it's kind of like that in a way, and it sucks. So, luckily with me, um, my parents never were just like, yeah, he's, he's not real. He, or at least they didn't. They were never just like, you know, he's, it's, it's not, it, it's not possible. I just kind of grew up in a sense of like, it's probably not possible, but it's still fun to just imagine that, all right? Like, you see the whole Santa Claus tracker thing and everything, like, on Google, and, like, it's a fun idea, okay? So, people that are just like, Santa Claus isn't real, you don't need to be a dick and just be like, yeah, he's not real, fuck you, you're, you're, you're living a fantasy. It's like, you know what, I'll live my fantasy if I fucking want, all right? It's a fun idea that some jolly fat dude will be giving you a present if you're being nice. And you know what? What's the harm, really? Like, what is, what, what's so wrong about just liking to imagine that by you being a good, nice person that you get rewarded, or even it's just good to, you know? It's like, it's not the whole ideology, it's just like, oh, if you're a good person and you're being good and then Santa doesn't give you a gift, then that must mean you're a bad person or something. Like, no, that's not the idea of it. Like, the whole idea revolving around Christmas, like, modern day, without being, getting into religion, is like, it's gotten to the point to where it's now about family, and giving to others, and being charitable, and being nice. Not, at, like, not because, like, you'll get something in return, it's just to be good out of the nice goodness of your heart and everything, you know? It's about being happy, and just having a good fucking time, all right? And without being, without being like, like, uh, kind of being hypocritical, but like, without being vulgar, you know? Like, it's not about people going to the bar, getting drunk, being all happy, crazy, you know? Or like how Halloween is like how you have candy and you're being like, getting, like being greedy and all that sense and all that, whatever. But it's just about having a good time, all right? And it's just, Santa Claus is so iconic for Christmas, so, like, it's just an iconic good time for no real reason. We have no reason to be happy, but it's really nice that we have an excuse to be happy this one time of the year. So you know what? Let people be happy. Don't be like that asshole that's just like, hey, Santa Claus isn't real. Like, don't be a dick, all right? Because that just makes you look like some fucking ass, all right? I'm not saying, like, don't stomp on my, on my fantasy. He is real. It's like, no. You don't need to bring it to people's attention. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna be repeating at this point, but no, like, don't be a jerk. This Christmas season, whatever. Uh, just, just don't be that jerk. And like, the whole thing about like, people not saying Merry Christmas anymore. Look, you don't need to be religious to, uh, excuse me. <laughs> you don't need to be religious to celebrate Christmas or like the ideal, uh, ideology behind Christmas. Hold on a sec. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Eh. But like, I I view Christmas as like, it's just a time to be happy and to enjoy family and to be nice to people out of the goodness of your heart, basically. It's an excuse to be nice to people, really, considering nowadays people are so mean to each other. It's like, oh, I hope this person doesn't sit next to me, whatever, or ah, oh, this person's sitting next to me. I hate them already for no reason, real reasons. Like, people are so negative nowadays. It's a, fre it's a freaking breath of fresh air. For like this one time a year, everyone's just nice to each other for no real reason, all right? And it's like you get to be nice and bundle up in your coat and everything. Get to, you hear like the saying, like people are like, oh, it's finally getting colder so I can wear my nice clothes, you know? It's just a great time of year. I love Christmas so much. And like, if you say Merry Christmas to someone, it should just be like the, like, like Christmas, honestly to me, is like, it's, it's all of December, really. Christmas Day is like the apex of happiness. You get to have your presents and enjoy Christmas Day. But if anything, I would even say like uh, Christmas Eve would be like the apex of it all. Um, Christmas Day, once you open your presents, after that, all of the happiness is gone. It's like, all right, now we're just stuck in like 
the limbo between Christmas Day and New Year's, and then after that, it's just like, oh, whatever now, what do I do now? Which kind of sucks, honestly. Because it's like, that's when it starts getting, like, a little warmer almost, or it's just cold, and now it's, like, now it's back to frozen hell. Now, we have no reason to be happy anymore, and it's just like, oh. But still, Christmas is, it's great, I love it. So, I think the whole thing about, like, people saying, like, oh, I don't celebrate Christmas, it's offensive, whatever, it's like, it's not offensive, we're just telling you, be happy, it's a happy time of year, so enjoy it, enjoy the happy season, okay? Christmas, winter, all that, what have you. Unless you live in, like, the Southern Hemisphere, then get fucked, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, man. Because, like, my friend, friend of mine, he lives in Brazil, and it's, like, it's summertime over there, basically, for them. It's it's hot out now, during the winter time. It's weird. It, I, it's easy to forget that. So, it's, like, I don't know. But here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're enjoying wintertime type stuff, so, yeah. I think it's silly. I, I think more people should just be saying Merry Christmas. I mean, like, I've seen, if you don't, then whatever. I'm not saying, like, you need to oh, say Merry Christmas, but I would appreciate if we just saw it more, because I, th I think, like, uh, something that goes on is people say, we can't say Merry Christmas because other people will celebrate other things. So, my argument is, why don't we just say those other things along with it, too? And they're like, oh, but there's so many other things. It's just easier to say Happy Holidays, you know? And it's like, no. You know what? To say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa, all the other crap, you know, all at once. So everyone gets representation because this one time I wanted to make a Christmas comic. Um, I wanted it to say, like, Merry Christmas in it, whatever, during the, the winter uh, newspaper. When I was, I was a newspaper, I, I used to make comics for them, like my comics in the newspaper. And I couldn't talk about Christmas, whatever. We couldn't talk about Christmas because not everyone celebrates Christmas. So I'm just like, how about this? How about we have, like, one article, whatever, talking about Christmas stuff and all the cool stuff and everything about that. Then we have another one talking about Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and every other in-between type thing that people celebrate during winter time like that. That way, everyone feels represent represented because look at this way. You go to like some store to buy uh, Hanukkah stuff. There's like one measly little shelf for your Hanukkah stuff. And like the rest of the store is like decked out with Christmas stuff. So it's like if you if you're trying to like not be insensitive towards other people that don't celebrate Christmas, it, like it's not like stores and like TV and stuff like that aren't like being quote unquote insensitive already. Like they're bigger and they're already being quote unquote insensitive. If that's your argument, you know. So it, it's just a bit silly, really. Um, then again, you could just be you could tell me just be like, oh, you know what? You're just being a jerk because. It, there's a little bit of whatever, and it, yeah, what, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, anyways, I think it's like, I just want to hear Merry Christmas more often, alright? Freaking bring in other crap, too. I mean, generally, most people, at least here in America, celebrate Christmas, alright? And, like, the thing I find, uh, what, what really grinds my gears is that, like, you have people that come to America here, and then they get upset that you say Merry Christmas to them. It's like, I don't celebrate Christmas. How dare you? It's like, uh, you came to America. That's, that's what we do here, right? That's like that's like getting mad at someone in Mexico for saying, uh, hey, uh, hap and happy uh, Dia de los Muertos, and, and you're in Mexico. It's like, uh, I celebrate uh, fucking Halloween. Fuck you. It's like, no, you fucking came to Mexico. You're celebrating Dia de los Muertos, and you're not going to be like any all mad about it. You come to America, people are celebrating Christmas. Don't get pissed off that they're not celebrating Hanukkah. Like, yeah, there are people that are Jewish here. They exist. I'm not desensitizing them or any other people with other beliefs here. But, it, like, I get, like, it's the whole, like, America is the melting pot of culture and stuff like that. But generally, most people are going to be celebrating Christmas. So don't, I think it's, it would be a bit silly. Like, don't get, don't get all, like, cry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Don't don't get your un, your undies in a knot over really or your stocking in a knot to be more Christmas themed whatever anyways but still even then you could just be like uh yeah I I, I actually celebrate um, Hanukkah or whatever then you could just then the person could just be like oh then Happy Hanukkah then in that case you know it's simple you don't need to be like oh that would be that would be too much like. 
to at, like, whatever. You have people that are like, oh, you should start asking people their pronouns and crap, and as, as dumb as I think that would be, because, you know, there's two genders, alright? I get, like, the whole, like, transgender stuff like that. I'm not even gonna get into that gross mix, because that's a big, stinking pile of controversial topics that I could mess up saying the wrong thing with, so... You hear, like, uh, people are- if people are willing enough to be like, hey, you just ask people their pronouns, stuff like that. And I don't think it's that big of a hassle to ask someone if they celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah. And especially if it's only for, like, December, basically, you know? Because, like, if it's a pronoun- the whole pronouns type thing, it's just, like, m more often than not, more people are gonna be the gender that they look like. And if not, then that's- uh, honestly, in my opinion, that's kind of your own problem. If you don't look the gender you are, that- Really, I mean, I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to promote gender bias crap, stuff like that. But I mean, look, if you're a dude and you don't look like a dude, th there's there's probably something wrong, alright? To an extent, you should mostly look like a dude, because even dudes that wear makeup still look like a dude to an extent. If you genuinely can't, like, eh, if you genuinely can't tell what gender someone is, then like, that's just like, uh, it, w y I don't know. It should just be clear. It should, I, that should be, like, unspoken, really, you know? Like, unless you're, like, a freaking chicken where, like, there's, like, only one minuscule difference. Or, no, even, not even that. Because, you know, you have chickens and then you have roosters. But still. And you have cows and then, and bulls. There's differentiating, there's factors that differentiate different animals, genders, and all that. Why should it matter? With, why should it be with humans? It's like, oh, you know. Anyways, that's a different topic for another, uh, Beth Moth chat. Maybe I'll have that for the third episode. That's a whole can of worms that's not gonna be included in the Christmas thing. But anyways, yeah. Uh, there, you got a sneak preview of uh, episode three, where I'll talk about that stuff just to get it off my chest so you can hear all that. Oh, that'll be that'll be fun. I'll have a lot of explaining to do and stuff like that. But anyways, I digress. I I just think like. Just, just say, like, just ask someone. You celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas, you know? Ha heck, you know? What if someone's wearing, like, a freaking Santa Claus hat, you know? Also, one other thing. We need a name for, San for like, those Santa Claus hats. What are they called? We need, like, a general name for them because I always call them, like, a Santa hat, you know? Or, like, it's a Santa Claus hat, Christmas hat, whatever. You know? It's like a little... It's like Link's hat, but it's fuzzy around, like... It's like has a, a white lining around it and a little puff bunny and like what is the actual name of it called? I'm gonna look it up right now actually. I forgot what I think I looked it up. What let's see, what is the actual name for a Santa hat? Santa hat. It's like a it's like something weird. Um What what is Santa hat called? It's called a it doesn't- it doesn't say it. What is Santa's hat? What kind of hat does Santa wear? What type is wearing is a stocking cap. A traditional stocking cap with a conical shape, long palm tassel, and a blah blah. But I mean like, a stocking- like, stocking cap. If I look up a stocking cap, then like, you see like, Let's see. Well, what do we see here? We see like, uh, okay, it's the same thing. Um, we see like this, like, uh, what's it called? It looks like an old timey, like, kind of, uh, stocking cap that you wear when you go to bed, you know? It's like kind of long, but it's, it's very, uh, very flaccid and like, what's it called? Um, ah, I can't think. I can't think of the words. I can't, the, I can't think of the words to describe this because it's so unique. It's very long, and there's like a, a string at the end of the pom-pom, so it's not directly connected to the end of it. So it's like, that's, uh, you could even differ differentiate that specifically as a totally different hat. But I'm talking about like Santa Claus's hat, specifically like the red one with the white lining and the pom-pom at the end that's directly attached to the end of it. That is a specific hat, all right? You can have others that look like a general, similar type thing but i mean specifically santa claus's hat that needs to have a specific name so i can just because it, it's so hard to just be like oh it's a santa hat like i don't like saying santa hat for some reason like or christmas hat it just needs a freaking specific name 
it's it's so annoying. Whenever I just look like Santa, San, was it like Santa cap? Santa hat. You know, I want like a one word, because you're still. It's like basically Santa hat. Like Santa is the adjective for hat. So I just want like and it's still just called a hat in that sense. So like I want it to be like a one word, one type of hat. You know, like you've got a tribly, a fedora. Or you got like a top hat even, but like a top hat still like, you know, recognizable. Generally similar or the same. Uh, you got freaking bucket hats or whatever, I don't know. Still, regardless, I think it should have its own kind of name. So, I think that's about everything I've thought about talking about Christmas stuff, really. Um, that's my, my, I was going to say two cents, but you know, this is more than two cents of anything, really. About 30 minutes. Most of these are going to be around 30 minutes now, I guess. Because I'm at 30 minutes now. Um, so yeah. Um, that's my thoughts on Christmas, guys. Whenever this is getting posted. Let's see. I'm, I, I still need to figure out what day I'm going to post these on. I might post the first one. Maybe. Heck, probably today. Maybe... Uh... I don't know, maybe Monday or Tuesday, Friday, I don't know. I'll try and find some guide today. Uh, this might be posted probably around early, early December. And heck, what, God, when, when, when friggin' December hits finally, um, it's going to be so great. It's, it's November 22nd right now. But anyways, I digress. Thank you guys for tuning in with me on Bethmoth Chat. Until the next podcast or whatever, this has been episode 2 talking about Christmas, all that jive, um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in with me, rambling on about Christmas and my thoughts on Christmas stuff, uh, if you don't like it, then you don't like it, alright guys, um, don't think I'm like a total asshole for whatever reason, I guess, or do, you know what, it's your opinion, I'm not gonna tell you, hey, if you think I'm a jerk, just don't, (laughs) you know, I mean, I think that's what ever, anyone would think about themselves. Like, hey, if you think I'm a jerk, please don't. I'm actually really nice. Because, I mean, I guess you could think that with, like, any, literally anyone, anyways. Uh, you could just think that with anyone, really. You could just be like, eh, even though they seem like a jerk, there could be nice parts about them or whatever, but, you know. There's different layers of people's personality, but that's besides the point. I hope you enjoyed this this episode episode two christmas of best Moth chat and uh yeah like comment subscribe all that i don't care if you comment if you do say whatever uh make fun of me what have you like the video probably please please like the video if you if you dislike it n- this video would never hit the light of day because of youtube's algorithms are so terrible um also i heard if you hit the bell icon i'm not just saying this like like just like oh hit the bell icon too i heard that if you do this then this like no but i remember hearing a while back ago that the algorithm uh is way more in favor to to channels where if you hit the the bell icon then you're definitely going to see my videos more often and i don't post a lot anyways so i would recommend doing that just so you see it so you won't be getting a ton of notifications really um so yeah just keep all that in mind till the next video see you around guys Uh, yeah. Bye.